Hi, we are here in the second part of uh, the drawing or the sketching tutorial and I'm first going to be opening a second layer since we're not working on the first one. In this tutorial we're not going to be working on base from any other kind of image. We're just starting to sketch from zero and I'm just grabbing the same pencil that I was working before because I really like to be working with this pencil. It's quite realistic and gives us like shades and not just like a very strong line. We would be able to go to a stronger line afterwards if, for example, we work with a very strong outline. I like to be working more with, with shades and less with strong outlines. And uh, I would have here, for example, the Realistic 2B. It's a really good tool to be working with. And I would start with a blue color, for example. Some people could be working with green, red, anything, anything apart from the final color that you would be using for the end version of your illustration. So I'm just going to be starting with some very simple shapes. And the good thing is that you can really be working well, this was not on the right position. Oh, it was too much. And just very roughly, maybe I'll put something in his mouth. I tend always to do the eyes too large. I'll try to make this smaller. And. I'm not very talkative when I have to concentrate myself very much. So, <laughs> Some people really does work with different uh, colors as well to be showing, for example, not only the rougher part of it, but as well, for example, to be doing like lights and shades and they would just start uh, making different color codes for this, for this moment. I think this is too large. I like to do the shades afterwards when everything is done. Uh, so it's not really part of my of my drawing moment. So my bird has a lot of legs. <laughs> the good thing is like I can afterwards decide which one is going to stay. And here I'm moving up a little bit. So at the moment the sketch is more or less done. It's a rough sketch. So I would grab the black color, I would grab another layer and then I would start doing the kind of final sketchy part. So it's still, since I have to do it very fast, yeah, for the video, uh, it's still going to be very rough. And you're going to be getting a feeling about if the lines are right or not while you're working. So that's why it's so nice to be starting it so roughly and to have the freedom of turning this on and off afterwards to see if it's fitting, if everything is good. If you are afraid of, for some reason, working on the layer where your first sketch is, you can kind of block this layer. So you select the layer and you click here underneath the layer icon and you're blocking this image. So if you start painting, it's going to say, well, this layer is safe. So you can go up to the second one. I usually do this quite often because I really don't like to be painting on the wrong layer. So if I really have the impression, okay, I have a lot of layers and some of them cannot be used or cannot be painted on. I just save those layers so that I'm not painting on the wrong one. Okay, so here's the tail now. It was too large at the beginning. Now I think it has a good shape. If you turn on a little bit this brush, like you incline it a little bit on the paper, you're going to see that it gives you a nice shade underneath it and it's quite a strong line on the top, which for shadowing and so on is really, really nice.
This is still very sketchy, but at least you can understand how you could use digital illustration and work with layers and do sketches in a quite free way. I would probably still be working a long time in here to make it very precise. But like I said before, if you're working in a quite cartoonish way, I don't know if this word exists, but um, you can as well start doing like shadows and light areas and so on in this case as well be more precise with the areas you would like to highlight and with the areas you would like to have like more shadows on it this is kind of an idea how you can start doing your sketches really roughly and then afterwards go into details and make it everything a little bit more precise. Okay, I hope you have fun. Start doing some sketches, bring up some ideas together and remember using the layers as a safety net just for you to be maybe trying extra things out that you would not really be brave enough probably to be doing on the paper and like this having like much more work to do. So we're coming with another tutorial soon.